Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. In this video, okay, we will uh, show you how the Model Two and the MVC, um, this kind of architecture style, okay, works or design pattern works. And uh, let's go to our ID. So here I create a new project. Okay, this new project is called the Model Two. The previous one is called the Model One. The previous video, and uh, I already uh, copy all the source code from the Model One. So Model One has index.gsp, and uh, when I click sign up, it will go to the uh, what thing? Um, what should I say? Oh, sign up GSP, and here I will grab all the information, then uh, display right. And uh, here, the GSP page act as a view and a controller. So in model two, we have to separate. The servlet should act as a controller and uh, the GSP should act as a view only. So how to change? We can do is here. We will create a new package called the controller. Okay. And here, we will create a new servlet sign up servlet okay and here we were using url is called a web servlet using a url slash sign up okay and here i will call do post oh you know why because i didn't extend http so it doesn't have an override http servlet and now do post, okay? In the do post, what are we gonna do? In the do post, what we'll do is we copy everything from here and then put it here, okay? And we also, uh, here, don't have request, then I'm using request, change the name. I Then after, otherwise I have to uh, change the r 2 eq and this one should be import, right? And we don't have a request scope. Here, we can have a request dot set attribute. And new user, okay? And here using user, okay? And then we have, we remove this one and we are no longer available to use the GSP expression, but we do can use an ER expression because ER will search page Request a session and application scope. Okay, so here I have a new user, and then uh, what we will do is uh, because we are using request scope now, and we cannot do what when we're using request scope, we cannot using redirect because when we're using redirect, it cannot get a request scope, the the the, the attribute. Okay, but uh, when we're using when we don't use in redirect, it will gonna have another problem, and I will show you later. Okay, so we haven't finished uh, the change. So here we only keep the ER expression, and which display don't have any logic, right? On display, and in the index GSP, we will not go here. We will go to uh, sign, sorry, sign up. Okay, this one, which is going to here. This URL. And here we're using post. So when I click sign up, it will go to our sign up servlet, this post. And now I have to re, uh, forward to this page in this case, okay, forward. But it is, it's not a good, okay. Request get this dis, request dispatcher. And here we are go to sign, sign up dot gsp dot forward uh, request and uh, response, okay. This is one. Now let me redeploy and show you everything gonna work, but it's gonna have a problem. Okay, good. Now I will using uh, I will use the Safari. Okay because my Chrome currently is do something else. Okay. I'll copy this URL. 
Safari. Okay, go and uh, make a request. And here, uh, I have sign up, and this one is go to demo two. Okay, model demo two and username, username Tina, password Tina, email Tina at test dot com. Okay, click sign up. Okay, uh, not now. Okay, and uh, thank you for sign up, and I have all the information right. And this is a sign up page. Okay, this is two for this sign up page. So so far everything kind of like a works. Okay, and now we also separate uh, our view yes using GSP and our controller yes using servlet and our model is a uh, Java Bean. So in this case, we implement model two and which is the MVC. Okay, most likely we talk about MVC. Uh, M is our model. Here is a user. Okay, V V is a view. View is a sign up. Have displayed the information. Index.gsp is a form view, and the controller is a servlet in this case, which is a sign up servlet. And uh, do post is actually perform some logic, right? I grab the user. Uh, I grab information from form, and I create a user in real application. You will save to the database, and then I will forward to a page. Okay, but in the do post here has uh, some problem. Which is here. Oh, sorry, here. When I refresh, e, are you sure you want to send a form again? Send. It will make a, see the created the changes. When I click this one, send. This is uh, the problem of the post because uh, the dimension post is uh, is not item potent. And uh, every time uh, you make a request, and when you refresh, it will make a new request along with exactly same uh, informations you submitted to previous request. So it will car carry all the HTML form information if you click the send after the alert. And that's why in the do post, never forward unless you have a strong reason, okay? Normally we don't because it's gonna cause problem. To solve the issue, we were using one pattern called the PRG pattern. In the post, we should redirect, but that's not the topic of uh, this uh, uh, video. I will explain in next video. Uh, if you are interesting, please uh, go and watch it. Okay, so. I think I'm done uh, for everything about uh, model two. Okay, we implement the MVC uh, view, uh, view model and uh, controller. Okay, and it's better when you have the package. You have different package to hold different files. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.